Hey friends, my name is Andy Bird and I'm here at Youth with a Mission in Kona, Hawaii. Just want to share a short story with you today to hopefully give you hope, to give you great courage for what might be going on in your life, what you're believing for. One of the most remarkable uh, parts of our story as a family and our testimony has been the joy of entering into the foster care system and some of the brokenness of the foster care system and yet seeing great redemption and great breakthrough in people's lives. It was three years ago where we found out about a young 12-year-old who had uh, been in the foster care system for a number of years and uh, whose parents' rights were permanently terminated. There was no hope for reunification. And uh, this 12-year-old this needed a new home. She wasn't able to stay in her previous foster home any longer. And we had a choice to make as a family. Would we take her in? And uh, that's not so difficult of a choice when you think about it on a temporary level. But the bigger question was that we knew that her trajectory was to bounce around the foster care system until she would age out at 18 years old. And the statistics of someone who ages out of foster care are difficult and they're hard. They're not uh, what you would want anybody to face. So the bigger question for us was, were we willing to be a permanent family to this 12 year old? Our oldest at the time was a couple years older. Our next oldest was one year younger. This was changing the birth order. But uh, I'll never forget when this young lady landed in our home and our kids immediately began to build friendship and began to build connection. Um, her heart was so sweet, so tender. She had overcome so much that had already gone on in her life before. Very tender to the Lord and tender to us. And uh, it was just a matter of months before our own children came to us without having had conversation with them, um, saying that we really need to consider giving Makana, this amazing young lady, a permanent family. And it was amazing for my wife and I to watch our kids go through that process because this was something they were owning. This was something in their hearts. And uh, over the next several months, that, that sense only grew in strength. And uh, on New Year's Eve, several years ago, we had the privilege of saying and telling Makana that in this next year of your life, you will never need to worry about whether you have a family again. You will never need to question whether you're soon going to have to move to another family. You will never be in the foster care system again because we are going to be your permanent family. A year later, she was legally adopted, and now we're over a year past that legal adoption, amazed at what God has done in this young lady's life. She has not only transformed, but I would say in many ways, she has transformed our lives. And I just want to encourage you today that there are people around us that are needing great hope. And hope is more than something we pray over someone. It's more than something we just wish over someone or that we give them a moment of hope. Real hope is given when we move in adoptive love, taking responsibility for brokenness we may not have caused, taking responsibility for difficulty that maybe we had no part in. And it doesn't always lead to literal adoption, but there's a type of love that is so fierce that's the love of Jesus. And that love is willing to embrace the brokenness around us, bring it into our lives and our families so that we can see real restoration and real redemption. So I encourage you today, there is hope in Jesus and that is the hope that we have the great privilege of spreading to the world around us.